of water in here. Squeeze of a whole lemon goes in there. Now we're gonna melt some aga aga. This is a vegetarian Japanese gelatin made of seaweed. So I'm gonna use three tablespoons of that. I've got tofu. This is made of the soya bean and I think it actually tastes as good as a normal cheese. I'm gonna add a spoonful of cream cheese, coconut cream, and then a little bit of vanilla essence. Interesting, Sylvana used the real stuff. Sugar, and then we blitz this, off we go. I'm not gonna blitz anything because I haven't got a blade on. Ha, ah, ladies and gentlemen, chef sensation, Aldo Zilli. Shut up. This is more for Jeremy Beadle actually than, than a food program. And now well, let's put that it is in there. Oh, don't worry, we've got all day. Oh dear. Oh. His sous chefs usually do that bit for him. There you go. Mmm, that already looks and smells absolutely fantastic. Zest of a lemon. Straight in there. Mmm. Oh, I wish you could smell that. So the whole thing now goes in the food processor, nice and gently. And there you go. Oh. Little bit of butter in the bottom, onto the tin. With the back of a spoon, there you mix. Mmm. Different technique from Sylvana, who used her hands. <laughs> Here we go, speak okay, of the going devil. On here? Yeah. How are you getting on? Oh, you've used a lot of butter in there. Do you think so? Don't let her ruffle your feathers, Aldo. Can I try, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, um, <laughs> no, this was an insect, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> no, 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 it was an insect. Have you done this recipe before? About 50 times. Oh, really? Mm. You said that little minute, you've never done this recipe. You're so competitive. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. Knowing her rival may have perfected his recipe, Sylvana decides to check hers. Fingers crossed. Oh yes, it's looking gorgeous. Slightly golden. It's just a little wobble wobble. What I'm going to do now is just switch over the oven and let it cool as it is overnight. No baking for Aldo. His cake needs to chill overnight. That's all I've got to say. That is the bomb. Chomping at the bit to outdo each other and the local entrance, Sylvanas produced a traditional cheesecake that was testing in terms of technique. But Aldo's concoction is a simple, chilled recipe with some brave ingredients. You want a cup of tea, love? Oh, yes. What are, what are you on? Limoncello. I put so much in the cake. Oh, my God, it smells. I, I can smell the alcohol from gonna... here. <laughs> and I can smell rivalry. Are you feeling about things? Fine. I mean, today I've been very relaxed. I'm confident in you for tomorrow. I must admit, I'm pretty confident. I've gone for something very safe this time, and you've gone for something very daring. I just uh, hope that the judges are looking for that kind of taste, because you don't know what they're looking for. See what happens. Salute. Cheers. It's the day of the annual Trawden Show, and over 6,000 people have come along to join in the fun. First started 87 years ago as an agricultural show, after a long break it was resurrected in 1988. Today it remains true to its heritage, and in the various 3,500 classes, animals take centre stage. But the secret to its success lies in making young and old part of the day. such a happy, friendly show. It's just lovely to be involved, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's in the adult arts and crafts tent where our chef's cheesecake will be sampled and scrutinised. In here, there are a record 554 entries from knitted toys to sweet wine. But the baking section has some of the hottest competition in the whole show. And it's not just locals who flock here to enter. I made the Swedish cardamom cake and another Swedish chocolate cake but I'm not 
Swedish. I'm Spanish. <laughs> oh, that's why you got your sunglasses on, love. Our professional chefs don't have long to plate up their cheesecakes and make them look as good as they hope they taste. Oh my God, look, everything looks so beautiful. Okay, cheesecake section. But well, at the moment, there's no competition. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, we are winning. You won't win anything if you don't get decorating. Okay, I can't find my glaze. I chucked it away last night. My one is looking beautiful. Uh, Looks a bit more like a tart, mine. No time for last minute fears. Get a move on. Can I borrow some of your berries? No. No. The berries need to stick to this lemon curd. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you copying me? What? Sylvana spotted local Alison Atkins' impressive cheesecake. She's been competing here for three years, so she's a strong contender. Is a big cake? Do you bake cheese? Yes. Of course, of course. You do it baked. Is it an old recipe? No, I've never made it before. Just a new Don't tell her. Oh, she's never Don't made it before. Okay, right. She's never made it before. Yeah, right. Now they've had a sneak peek of how high standards are, they're getting worried. Have you finished? I have finished. I've been ages ago finished. Ready? Well, neither of them have scrimped on appearance. Hope it's not style over substance. Oh, look! Oh, those cake as a twin. And another entrance here. Is it your cheesecake? It is. Oh. Beautiful indeed. I want first prize with it. When? Primary school cook Catherine Monks been winning first places for her baked delights here for over a decade. So tell me, is it like a family recipe? No, and I'll pass it down to my children. Ah, she's the one to beat. Bet you don't see any more of your rivals. Just look at this. This is amazing. Too late. Look at the edge. How can you do this? It's okay. It's not a cheesecake. This fair has a lot of competition. But it's not just the edible on display here. What are you doing? Spending more. Do you think I can do this? No. Look <laughs> at that told her. It's her again. <laughs> she was the queen of baking. Only one small dish of the Local lash Jackie Stansfield's renowned here and has lost count of how many firsts she's won. Oh God, she's like the Olympian of baking cakes. Do you want to come and live with me for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any cheesecakes? No, any cheesecakes? This is the one I want to try. Her daughter's doing a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> yep, be afraid because her daughter Francesca has also made multiple entries. I've got brownies, Victoria sponge, cheesecake, chocolate cake. But it's her impressive chocolate cheesecake our chefs should be worried about. William Titley's a regular entrant at the Trawden show. And even though it's his first time entering a cheesecake, he knows what the judges are looking for. He's gone for a New York style recipe, just like Sylvana. I mean, I have had a little taste this morning, it just tastes good. Imagine if I win a prize, guess all these women. Oh, they did stream me up, wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, Sylvana might. But under this beautiful bunting, the ones to impress are cheesecake judges Sue Pollitt and Judy Morgan Jones. Both home economic teachers for 30 years, they're looking for grade A bakers. Best friends since university, they've judged together at the Trawden Show for six years, and they always agree on one thing. Well, I love it. <laughs> We are the envy of most. They all, a lot of people want to come and taste it with us, but not allowed, obviously. Well, Sylvana's baked raspberry cheesecake and Aldo's chilled zesty tofu recipe are ready for testing. Kiss. Ciao. Good luck. <laughs> She'll need it. <laughs> it's time now for the tent to close to the public and for the judging to commence. Our nervous twosome pace the showground, and even though the prize money is only the gesture of a few pounds, this competitive pair want to save their reputations as top-notch chefs. Aprons on, knives at the ready, Sue and Judy are ready to get cheesecake tasting. Oh, that's actually our favourite. <laughs> and as the seven entries are anonymous, it's all fair in love and judging. What are these harsh critics looking for in a winner? Flavour, obviously, and texture again, and the appearance of it. Standing here, I can pick out the ones that look really, really good, biting and tasty. Yeah. Mm. The raspberry one for me. Hmm, Sylvanas has caught Judy's eye. It is um, a bit of a wow factor, that one. I think this looks good, though. Hmm, divided opinion. Aldo's has impressed Sue. Let the tasting begin. Young pretender 22-year-old Francesca Stansfield is up. 
Perhaps she'll follow in her mother's footsteps and scoop her first. Eat that, that chocolate's really proper bitter, isn't it? Leaves an aftertaste. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. William Titley's rustic New York recipe is next. That one has definitely sunk in the middle. Mm. It's really smooth. I like that. Kind of, that's good. Is he still a strong player? Time for Catherine Monk's previous prize winner to be scrutinised, a white chocolate and raspberry concoction. Oh, the raspberries, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Sylvana's desperate to bag a prize, but will her baked beauty do it for her? Now then to your favourite one. In appearance, it cooks really nicely. Mm, it's beautiful. Yeah, she's done a good job there. Enough to crown her a champion? Aldo won a first yesterday. Will his cheesecake make it a double whammy? Oh, I don't like it. It's a strange texture. I don't like that. Disaster! Was it tainted by the tofu? I think it's not. I think there could be. And maybe it's changed the texture of the cheese. Ah, the boozy edge hasn't impressed. It's a difficult one, this. I know which are which first and second. Mm. Who's going to come out on top? <laughs> Only time will tell. Now to put our duo out of their misery, hold on to your hats. The wait is over and the tent reopens. Will either of our top chefs have beaten the highly skilled local bakers? Oh my God. Oh, there's nothing on mine. Ow, a big flop for Aldo. You're the first prize. No, 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 no. I won the first prize. Oh, well oh I'm done, very pleased. Girl. You know, I can't believe you got a rosette and I yes. didn't. <laughs> and to rub salt into Aldo's wounds, her win doesn't end there. Best in section. It's my cup! It's my cup! It's, it's my your cup! cup as well. <laughs> I'm not jealous, but it's bothered me. <laughs> well, what can I say? Well done. Well, thank you very much. You may kiss me. I'm very pleased. Anyone else get the impression she's pleased? <laughs> and she should be, as she beat fantastic baker Alison Atkins, who's staying modest. I've got first place for the fruit pie, and third place for my cheesecake, which is a miracle. I thought it was a disaster. And Sylvain has also wiped the floor with Catherine Monk's once prize-winning recipe. But it did play second, and Catherine did get four other first. William's entry didn't place, but there is a sweetener. Win or lose, you've still got the cake. <laughs> so, Aldo's not the only one who couldn't beat the tough competition here. But how is he feeling after losing to his fellow professional chef? She is so happy, it's even worth letting her win. The competition today was very hard, and I went for something a little bit more uh, on the edge, and uh, I fell off the edge. Is Sylvana still basking in the glory? I don't say. Oh, I feel good. I feel better than good, really. No point in being too modest about it. What was mind-blowing was the high standard of this competition. And to have won it, it meant so much to me. I am so proud. Well, it's been a long day for everyone in Trawden, and at least one of our chefs leaves a champion. Sylvana has three points for her first prize and one extra point for winning best in section. She's galloped ahead with a total of six, leaving Aldo in the dusk with only three. He's going to need to up his game. Come on, Aldo. Next time on Country Show Cook-Off, our foodie road trip takes our chefs to Kirby Lonsdale for a sweet in a wine class competition. But it's not all sweetness and light. Oh, no. Something. It's a rhubarb crumble in a glass. You're going to lose. She's getting very competitive again. <laughs>